So I'm very interested in how radiation affects normal tissues, and I study uh, how radiation affects in particular the heart and the lungs. So if you have a patient whose radiation fields are directed to the left breast, sometimes, depending on the patient's anatomy, that radiation field will come very close to the patient's heart. Usually this isn't a problem. Occasionally, if we're worried about it, there's a technique to try to move the heart away from the breast uh, called breath hold technique. And the heart moves down to the middle and a little bit posterior towards the back when you take a deep breath. And that enables the radiation to be directed at the breast while reducing the exposure to the heart. This is a, uh, an approach which we're just now adapting here and developing the systems to do that in our patients. Image guided therapy essentially is a means of taking images of the patient before treatment each day on the treatment machine so that we can be more certain of how the patient is lining up on that day. That enables us to make the margins for setup a little bit tighter, enables us to reduce a little bit the normal tissue that gets treated. Image guided therapy is particularly important in some cases where the tumors are immediately adjacent to critical normal structures and we have to be very careful in some, some situations. So image guided therapy is an extra tool that we use and patients should be very comfortable being treated even without image guided therapy. Another uh, uh, capability we have uh, is called Calypso which isn't strictly speaking imaging, but is very analogous to imaging where we can monitor the motion of patients' tumors during treatment. We actually implant inside the patient's tumor these little seeds that um, send out uh, a signal, much like your, a GPS in your car, sends out a signal to a device in the room uh, that can detect where that signal is coming from. Since the seed is located inside the tumor, if the tumor moves during the treatment, we can detect that using this technology. In addition, we have a machine called the CyberKnife, and the CyberKnife uh, in many ways is the ultimate in an image-guided approach. The CyberKnife uh, takes images of the patient continuously throughout treatment so that we can monitor the uh, appropriate placement of the radiation beam at all times uh, during the treatment. Quantec uh, stands for Quantitative Analysis of Normal Tissue Effects in the Clinic. So the Quantec effort was a summary of the available literature uh, to maybe reach a broader understanding and a, and a unified acceptance of what the dose volume outcome information is for a variety of organs. The Quantec data provides some information that can help guide the physician and the radiation planning people to help make perhaps more intelligent uh, decisions about choosing different treatment plans, different beam arrangements, different ways of delivering the radiation. His advice to me was just take good care of the patients and the research questions will become obvious to you. And that was good advice. So I can think of several instances where um, I was trying to do what was best for one particular patient. And in that quest of trying to figure out what's best for that patient, I came across an unknown, something that, sh that I felt, had I known this piece of information, I would be better able to take care of this patient. And that uh, led to some very interesting things that I've, that I've done. For example, my whole interest in heart injury results from a particular patient that I remember of exquisitely well and she had had heart toxicity from her chemotherapy and I was needed to treat a fairly large area because her breast cancer was fairly extensive and I needed to block her heart at the same time and from that one patient I've made a mini career out of studying heart injury learning how to better block the heart in patients with breast cancer I enjoy listening to music I enjoy playing music I played piano for 35 years. I love show music and I play show music and I'm, and I'm really not particularly very good uh, at the piano, but I do like to play. They have a tremendously dedicated uh, and skilled staff with the support staff, the clerical staff, all really very dedicated people who uh, feel the mission of caring for the people of North Carolina. And that permeates uh, through the department. So it's wonderful people that care deeply uh, about, about what they do.